Did you get a drum tech sorted out? Uh, for a tour that you're doing, I don't know if you can announce it. Oh, for the end of the year, yeah. Uh, no, I haven't yet. If anyone's listening, oh yeah, do this. Is this, this is the how, show out for them? Oh, no, because this is how I got Josh. Because I was just on tour, and he was like, "Oh, I don't want to go home," and I'm only. He was doing merch for Loathe, and he was a drummer, and he was like, "I don't really want to go home because the tour was sick." Um, can I just do it for free and I'll drum tech for you and I was like in my head it was like I really want a fucking drum tech so I'll just do it and I'll just pay him at the just end pay him. Yeah. and then he knew nothing about drum teching at all I'm sure he doesn't fucking mind me saying this he knew at that point he played the drums he was a great drummer and you know could tune drums or whatever but didn't That's know anything about drum teching yeah. nah, that, so, that, that and common sense and just you yeah know, he, there are certain, the common there are sense was things. taught but what? no the common sense was taught but like not really um like just the tech stuff like when to load in when to do this changeovers good etiquette and stuff like that but then i told him i was like if you want to do this for free then come and have a you know come and do the tour and i'll just treat it like you're actually working that's a great point what makes a good fucking tech go into that in detail because i think there's a lot that there's a lot that a tech can do that would make them Oh, even no sorry I'll rephrase that there's a lot that can make them good but there's you could do one of maybe three things and it would just make you a shite tech whether it's drums guitar whatever just any member of crew I guess you know what do you want have you got an opinion first before I do more uh, I think like I hate that kind of I hate that entitlement. I hate them thinking they're part of the band. I hate them that kind of unless they unless they are told <laughs> coming to, in hot there with a fucking, fucking personality diss. That's fucking true. Do you know what I mean? Thinking that they because I've seen it before where they think they are that and then they get bought down a peg by the band that they work for. Do you know what I mean? So I think can it goes back to it, 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 it goes it goes to ego, which could you know we can go into that fucking later on. Talk about ourselves in the industry all we want, but you know I think there's a. <laughs> that's, that's a, that was a wink for the audience. If you're on audio, fucking grow up. Unless yeah, you're blind, exactly. then I'm sorry. Why is it with a bit of Braille blind thing? Are you, I don't know. You I'm feeling, or no, I'm feeling very thoughtful, thankful for my eyes. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, yours yeah. is just a pure personality beef. Well, no, well, not that. Okay, so what are we saying? Three things that make a bad tech, or three things that a tech could do that would. Okay, I want your three, then I'll do my three. Okay, uh, one, ego. Don't be an arse bandit. Number one, that's your number one. They're getting don't, fired for that above anything else. Don't be a dick. Because that that is, you can learn everything else. You can learn the little technical bits. You can learn how to fucking set that bit up. You can learn where to place that. You can learn where to put that. You can, yeah. Don't be a dick. Get on with folk. Don't be an arsehole. Don't be an arse bandit. I like that one. Okay. So no ego. Uh, second one, I punk, punctuality. I think that's important. Be where you need to be on time. That's my number one. We'll go into mine, but I think that's my number one. But I, I, I imagine a guy was punctual, but he's an arsehole. It has to be number one. You can't tour with somebody that's a prick. Ah, uh, true, true. Uh, yeah, but the punctuality's it, up there, and punctuality's top. And I think it, it comes into play mostly at uh, like festivals, for example. If your tech wasn't already building the kit, or you said, right, we're on stage at five, we're going to stage at half past two, I will get you there. Go and meet your pals, go and have a pint, do whatever, but we meet here. If they're not there at that time, you would be like, where the fuck are so they? So that's my number one. I'll take a little bit of an asshole to do with that because I myself was a tech that definitely had an ego and was definitely an asshole. <laughs> and my other, my, uh, one of my <laughs> other close friends, V Man, is also a, an asshole, lovely asshole. He's a lovely asshole. Right. Yeah, but so am I. But we've both got fucking egos. We'll both tell you that we don't. But oh, we everyone's do. got an ego. If you're in the music industry, you carry an ego. If you're really good at your instrument, like he is. And you're a tech. By proxy, you are. Well, here it is. Uh, <laughs> the and no, but like, yeah. Um, okay. What's your number three? Uh, oh, just shit. We didn't even get to three, did we? So, um, yeah. Don't be an arse bandit. Punctuality. And uh, isn't arse bandit a slur for? I fucking hope not. I mean, you didn't mean it. You didn't mean it. I'm using it in place of asshole. Arse bandit. Okay. You've got Google there. Maybe you should go on it. No, this is what we need the Jamie for. All right. This well, no, like we don't have Jamie. So I'm going to get cancelled. That's what no, you're not because you didn't know. Good. Cancellations are over anyway. There's so much. Are they? Done. Yeah, it's done. It done. It's done. Uh, I third one. Yeah, just, just. Unless you fuck a kid. 
then you're done. Oh, with. straight in the bin. Yeah, you are. But I reckon everyone's getting it. Well, I'm not saying it's a good thing, but everyone's getting away with everything else. Anyway, don't want to talk about that. It's so boring. Every single podcast I know talks about that. Mm-hmm. What is number three? <sighs> Just forever. I mean, this sounds really preachy. Forever being a student. Or oh, be open to learn. I think that's it. Yeah, and because that all that ties into ego as it well. It goes into ego, and it's yeah. that personality, it's that openness. So I think you know, carry yourself with respect, and don't be a fucking dick. Don't be an ass bandit, as we said. Potential slur, punctuality, <laughs> and be open to learn. I think those are the three. Uh, okay, so mine. What are yours? They're going to be very similar. My number one, and it's something that I had to teach Josh, but I think he just didn't know. If I look back to like when. Because he was doing it for free in his head i think what he thought was okay i'll just watch him when he plays the drums like because when you think of drum tech if like that's what you think so he came on board and then i just in my head was just assuming he knew like fully how to drum tech and then it would be like oh we haven't loaded in yet which means i need to help load in mm. and it, Admittedly, if someone was doing it for free, I probably wouldn't want them to do that much stuff. I mean, truth be told, so shout out to my boy Logan, Logan White. Um, he's been, I, I, he's landed quite a cushy job now. Uh, he's and he's uh, he's kind of taken a step back from touring for the foreseeable. So hence, I was messaging you about potentially getting a tech for this tour at the end of the year. But Logan's been the only guy that I trust to build my kit from scratch. Mm. And he was up for the fucking task and was well enthusiastic about it. And I was fucking like, fucking jungle gym. The fucking jungle gym. So I was like, fair play, mate, you're into this. But Logan's just been, not only are we, I mean, we're mates like outside of that, you know, the music world anyway, where you would consider us pals. He gets on with the rest of the guys in the band. A dream just to be around. You know what I mean? He's just a fucking easygoing guy. And he knows his shit and he's enthusiastic as fuck and he's open to learn. And he's always asking, like, do you need this? Do you want this? Can I do this? And like that to me was just going above mm, and beyond because I don't I, I don't expect it as well. It's always like one of those things where I was like, you know, I, I I don't have an ego. I don't carry myself for that. So I was just like, if you can just, you know, if we're doing a festival and I go out there and I stand up behind the kit and go, <laughs> can can you plug my <laughs> that that's yeah. See that when you when I fake mouth something at the yeah, start yeah, of yeah. a festival, that's the noise that I make. So. <laughs> Do you actually do that noise? No. No, I was going to say. I, well, we're doing a festival at the, at the weekend and I will do that now. But Have you ever done it when, like, because I do a couple of screams in the set if I'm fucking feeling it. Have you ever, have you ever fully that. screamed? That's, that's sometimes I do a fucking thing. less fucking go or like a scream and a couple mm. of times I've pulled muscles doing it and fucked the rest of the set up. Like, I've pulled all up my side. Fucking hell. Idiot. I've never, I mean, but you're falling to bits. We'll come back to that again. I feel like we've started many different topics here. <laughs> fucking we'll, we'll, we'll come. <laughs> I mean, you're falling to bits. I'm actually on the mend. Okay, number one, I'm on the mend. Good. Okay, I'm on my drum tech story. So, yeah, Josh yeah, wanted, wanted, I, shout out Logan. There we go. Shout out Josh. Josh wanted to stay um, on the tour. So I said, okay, yeah, you can be my drum tech. And then on day, the first day of being my drum tech, it wasn't really like it was my drum tech. So I just went up to him nicely. It was just like, in my head, I knew like, I'm going to pay this guy at the end. So I, there's flies in here. I don't know why there's a fucking body somewhere. I've left another body around. Um, Dro- I Dropping wee ham and eggers in here. I basically <laughs> said, do you want to be a drum tech as your job? And he was like, yeah. And I said, well, wh- here's what we do. I will tell you everything I'm, that I expect you to do. Like, and then if it's too much, you can just let me know and then you don't have to do it. But if you want to learn how to do it and you've never done it before, I will tell you everything I would do and everything I would expect. Told him it all, and then on day fucking two, it was he, he it was it. absolutely perfect for the rest I mean, of the tour. That's that willingness to learn. It that's that openness. Incredible. And that's just, I think if you're going to be in a tech or any fucking member of the touring crew, that is so fucking crucial because that changes from uh, band to band, client to client, essentially. And I think you need to have that. And then that plays nicely into the don't be a dick thing because you can have an ego and you can be a bit of an arsehole and you can rub people up the wrong way but if the people that are paying you you're open to playing by their rules all the time and you're learning that's fucking crucial i got told off once one big telling off from architects when i was drum checking just for fucking getting fucked up like really fucked up maybe that's maybe that's the fourth one don't get too fucked yeah it's a big one but i also made a lot of good connections (laughs) (laughs) but no there was one night where i was just like i was walking back to the fucking bus like a T-Rex 
like I was just fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I was fucking. Yeah, there was a uh, something else involved. And then at that point, I think the next day they made me drum tech in a, a Borat mankini for the actual show as a punishment, and I I quickly don't. So my number one is the part is basically if I'm buying a, if I'm paying for a tech. So Gabe's now my tech because he's already on the tour doing photos. So right. I just pay him. Um, so there's different levels, really. All I want is not to load out, my drums to be set up, my drums to be packed down, and my drums to be loaded out. Like, I don't care really about the tuning because I can sit on a drum kit and just go bish, bash, bosh. Yeah. Like, if I'm paying big, big money, but I just chuck Gabe a bit See, of See, I, I took full advantage of Logan on the last Bleed From Within Headline tour and I, I was terrible for loading in and loading out. I, um, I, I made a cunt of it and I was like, I felt like a total arsehole. On the second last night, I think it was Davey or something, Kenny said, you do realise you've been dropping the ball here and you've not been loading in, loading out. And I was like, oh no. Yeah, but you're paying Because we, still, well, we were paying them, but it's kind of, we are very, we're all we're all hands on in that sense. And it was nope. kind of like everyone else nope. was doing their nope. bit. Nope. 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 Not if you're paying. Nope. Not if you're paying. Yeah, but I mean, Logan was more of a, a hand for the band. Do they have a guitar a tech. tech? No, no, no. See, that's it. Yeah, see, that's why. So what you need is a guitar tech. Yeah, exactly. So I was kind of, drum I, I, tech. Just took, I took the easy way on that. And it, it, wasn't a, it wasn't something that I was consciously doing. I was working and stuff during the day and I was busy and I'd come and be like, I did a couple of load-ins, but load-outs, for example, in London, I ran to the bar and I was meeting with the label and I was chatting to folk and missed the load-out and I was a bit of a dick. So I, in that sense, I took advantage of poor wee Logan. Well, here's a sort of good idea that we could do. Number one, I'm going to say this right now on the podcast. Thank you for doing this because I always forget to thank people and this is a, a fucking... A first on the downbeat. It's going to be a big episode, the video and everything. Fucking it's cool as fuck. Ten years overdue. Um, but we can use the power of the downbeat because I'm sure there's people that listen to the podcast that are drummers. I can think of one off the top of my head and I don't want to name drop him right now. But where you could say, look, if you want to learn how to be a drum tech, come on the tour, learn how to be a drum tech and I'll chuck you some money at the end. Don't make him do it for fucking free. But then that gives someone a job because since then, since doing that tour, Josh, Josh, what? Do you remember that band? What band? There was a band that made t-shirts that got people to crew for them for free. Do you remember that? We're going to get into that. Hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Sorry, you were. Um, But Josh did, uh, straight after me, Car Bomb, and now he's drum tech and sleep token. It's like, he's now a drum tech. That's yeah. his fucking job. Amazing. So if someone comes and does If someone wants to reach out to me, we've literally just told you how to do a good job. So don't <coughs> fuck it up. 